you want to say that again? It's showtime. <laughs> we, we get a little thingy on here that says, it's showtime. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We, we are shattered, by the way. We didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, and then we were up early to, to travel to a yard sale. So if we nod off halfway through this... <laughs> <laughs> oh. and, and we've had a nap yeah getting old I don't know, sometimes i think you feel worse after a nap though, don't yeah you? no it's true yeah two hour nap is about it's the worst length of time because you you wake up more tired than you went to sleep yeah i think you do anyway wow instant waffle welcome <laughs> to this thing we do on a sunday um we don't have a guest as you may have already noticed um we've we started doing guest chats on a sunday and we've really enjoyed them uh ricky was a great guest last week as well hopefully you've seen that one um but this week we thought we'd just come on go old school chat with you lot and talk about trying new things uh mainly what not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we'll chat about that Oh, and we could chat generally about trying new things as well, couldn't we? Yeah, That's and we, we've got a thank you to do, and we're going to say hello to some people in the chat whilst people are arriving. We've got a hundred... Oh, there's Ricky. Sorry for my language. <laughs> Not at all. Where's Ricky? Oh, there. <laughs> yeah. No, don't worry about it. We really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Um, so whilst people are joining us, we've got 149 in now. We'll say a few hellos. Do you want to do that? Because I need to cough. Yeah. <laughs> Um, first on our screen is Steve. Hello, Steve. Uh, Just trying something new myself. I'm renting a cabinet. Oh, yeah, I tried that for about a month. <laughs> yeah, we, we tried. I say we. You tried that. And then the whole place went bust. We were like, yeah. we, we were. I'm not um, sure it was my fault, but it might have been. <laughs> well, we turned up and the whole business had, would, had gone within <laughs> within a month or two, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Flippy Maggie's in. Good evening, all. I can't believe Steve pipped me. <laughs> Looking forward to this. Um, Peter Ray, what notting are we? I think that's meant to say. Um, the White Wolf, hello. Um, oh, thank you for my Man in Black album. Very enjoyable. Excellent. Okay. Um, hello, Tina. Hello, Anne. Um, yes, uh, sunshine. Jake's well, in. Hello, Jake and uh, C. Blaney. On Anne's comment there, it was quite sunny, but we were freezing today. Yeah, well, it rained to start with. Yeah, that, that didn't help. Bitter. We didn't really do that well at the yard sale today, did we? Let's be honest. No. Hello. Slim. <laughs> hello, Slim. Deborah. Um, and hello, Marcus. Uh, Marcus says, evening, everyone. Took a trip back to Milton Keynes this week to see the grandkids. Oh, lovely. Oh, it got worse. Oh, what, Milton Keynes? Mm, yeah. Um, so glad we moved away. Don't miss it one bit. Just the grandkids. Well, there you go. You, you've you made the right decision then. Yeah, and it, it potentially wasn't worse, but you just forgot. <laughs> mm. You know, we're, we're, we're a bit like that when we go back. Um, so who else have we got here? Porky. Um, Porky told us about this yard sale. So thank you, Porky that yeah and, i don't know if you um, went but we didn't find a great deal of any consequence a few I, I mean i say that a few nice things we're not going to share a haul today um but yeah sean's everything crafting is in i sure been gardening um pat hello hello chris right should we whiz to the end and, and do our yes. thank you before whizzy, we whizzy whizzy whiz we've now got um, 236 yes, in mark Nia, Babs, I'm, I'm scrolling down because um, I saw Sean was in. Hello. <laughs> so, yes, he hello, everybody. I think that's about everybody. Oh, no. Lots so, of people coming in. So, hello to everybody coming in. Before um, we start chatting about um, whatnot, and um, we can take questions on that, but we don't really know much about it yet because we haven't done a stream. But we'll share with you when we think we're going to do our first stream. Um, we have a code that gets you £10 to spend. We can talk about all of that stuff. But first, you need to yes. do a big thing. So I don't know if Sue's in, but um, <laughs> we had, this is the card from Sue, we had the most amazing happy meal. Happy meal. Happy, happy meal. Happy mail. <laughs> I haven't, that's how tired I am. We haven't had a happy meal for many I, years. No, I said. As in, in McDonald's. 
Yeah, so um, Sue um, is often in the chat. Um, you may remember, sent me those amazing um, Hornsey heirloom mugs, which I was over the moon about. They're not there. And then when I did my video on my channel about um, Denby and Hornsey um, reselling them, I decided that I was going to keep the Bronte canisters that I had because I absolutely love them. And then she messaged and I said, I've got a whole set of um, Bronte, which um, is just sitting in the garage. It was my mum's. We don't know what to do with it. So I would love to gift it to you. So thank you so much, Sue. Um, this is just a li little bit of it. Um, this is a preserved pot. And there's salt and pepper. Um, we did so send... I've got a couple of canisters like this, but this one is specifically tea. We did then, send Sue a little gift in return. Yes. It's a bit of an uneven swap list, but, you know, we did send Incredibly, something in return. Yes, <laughs> Sue knows that if there's anything else she sees, it's hers. Um, and also Aren't some these cute? That's a salt. So yeah. this is all, I mean, this is incredible. We love this. We love this so much. And we're going to treasure this and it will be used but forever well we were saying the other day that this kind of sums up our style it's very 70s it's very kind of geometric bold that i think is the sweet spot for us um so uh, if we were before we're collecting horns we are now <laughs> yeah and i'm very happy about it yeah <laughs> so uh sue i don't know if sue is in as sue said hi you were even browsing through hornsey on um on eBay. on eBay and you were looking at the blue stuff and oh like, don't get me like, started oh now I know what to get you for birthdays and with, Christmas with collecting <laughs> well I was serious so, about that because I never know what to buy you and now there's something specific you've only been married to me for what how long nearly 20 years yeah you're difficult to buy for <laughs> these are the cutest things look, look salt and peppers in the same pan they are really cute anyway right? so Sue if you're watching this back maybe later Thank you yes, so much. Thank you. And as a shoe buying guide, do you need new shoes? No. Can you afford them? No. Do you deserve them? No. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this is more for you than me. It says, yeah. and the message. I don't, I don't buy myself shoes, <laughs> but I get this sentiment. This card is more um, appropriate you, you for can, Andrea. Yeah. Uh, do you need new? Do you need more mugs? No. Can you afford them? Probably not. Um, do you deserve them? Well, questionable. Yeah, you do. Yes. Well, you thanks. could just Thank replace you. Uh, Depeche you. Mode vinyl here for me. <laughs> do you need any more? Really not. Are you going to buy some anyway? Yes. Yeah. I've got a bid going in in about half an hour. So I'll, I'll, I'll either go yay or be disappointed yeah. later. Oh, what's right, anyway. saying here? I've just got... A lovely Hornsey um, blue blue flower jar. Ooh, the blue some, is rarer colour. Some knobs isn't it? written on it. Oh, some knobs written on it in marker. Yeah. No, I that should think, come off. That it should off. come off ceramic. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's gorgeous, isn't it, Jennifer? I, I, I think bronze is probably my favourite design, but I do like heirloom as well. Um, Stu's in. <laughs> Stu is sad to say uh, he didn't make it to the end of the London Marathon today. Tired and lacking enough training, after four hours, I turned over to watch the football. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'm surprised they still televise it. I remember watching yeah. it. Yeah, I remember, I remember it been... always being on every year. Yeah. yeah. We, Some of you, uh, long-standing viewers of the channel, may remember we did a, a marathon. It was a walking one. There's no way we were running it. In London, was the here and back must be what, but it was still 26 miles six or seven years ago, and that nearly killed us. <laughs> um, that was for breast cancer research, yeah. I think. Um, yeah, amazing, you, you, you might think that walking it was easier. <laughs> we we struggled. I at one point I thought we were going to carry Zaheer over the line, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it was through the night in London, wasn't it? Yeah. The through the night bit was magical and it was lovely and I enjoyed that part when it got light and people started to get up for work and stuff. I think that's when the, the magic wore off and the pain set in. Well, that, <laughs> that's was because magic. that was the last third when it when all yeah, every part of us. But ached. also it just didn't feel it just felt like, oh, I just want to want some breakfast now. <laughs> 
I just want to be at the end. I want to stop my hips hurting. Uh, Deborah, first car boot sale yesterday. I found a box of nine exact same Hornsey Bronte pottery oh, items. Wow. Tea, coffee, sugar. Yeah, the canisters. That's the two ones. lidded serving dishes, teapot, milk jug, sugar bowl. Two pound the lot. <gasps> What a bargain! What? That's amazing. Well, you might be in the market for a teapot. We don't. We don't yeah. have a tea. Well, we. Well, mind we, you, we don't know yet because Sue's <sighs> going to send us more stuff, and it's it's a mystery. Sue is sending us so more. So we don't know what we're getting. That's a good point. So we shall hold off. Two pound a lot. That's crazy. That is, uh, wow, that's incredible. Cheryl remembers us doing that. I'm yeah. sure I walk a marathon every weekend at the car boot. <laughs> Keeps you fit, car booting. We haven't done car boots since we've been up here, really, apart from a few mm. li little local ones. Yeah, it's because it's about a half hour drive and it is early. So we tend to choose like well, there are, the mud sale trails yeah. that start at nine or ten. I think we'll make a point of exploring the car boots soon this season. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So we wanted to talk a bit about whatnot. Firstly, there was a comment on, I guess it was here on YouTube somewhere. Somebody said, oh, another YouTube, no, another eBay are switching to whatnot. We're not switching to whatnot. We're giving it a go. You can't really have an opinion on something unless you try it yourself. We've heard all sorts of things, positive, negative, indifferent. We're going to give it a go. Uh, we have signed up and we also have a £10, uh, like free money to spend offer. Mm -hmm. Uh, the link should be for that below. So if you're not signed up to whatnot, use that link and then you'll get £10 credit to spend uh, with us on our show or on someone else's show. I don't yeah, think. yeah, you don't have to spend it with us. Um, it can be spent with anyone. All you have to do is cover the shipping, right? So it's free money. You might as well use it, right? Even if you sign up, use the tenor and never use whatnot again, it's fine. doesn't matter. Um, so that offer is below. Use the link below and it will automatically take you to a place where you can get that offer. Um, so we're thinking we're going to try and figure out how to stream our first show on YouTube. But obviously, you can't bid on YouTube. You have to go into whatnot for that. But you'll yeah. be able to see what we're doing. Um, we are thinking Tuesday for the first one. Yes. Eight o'clock. And we're thinking um, with toys and games because we've got lots of board games. Um, yeah, we... <laughs> We don't know quite what's going to go down well, what people would like. So we're doing uh, toys and games, like you say. Uh, we did try and find stuff today for the show, but it, there wasn't much there. It was slim pickings. Uh, and then we're going to do one. We're going to do it Thursday, same week. Yeah, I think so. And we're going to do a Disney one. Yeah, a lot of fun. people that follow us are Disney fans. We've got a lot of Disney stuff, and we're going to do a whole Disney-themed show. Disney mugs. Um, yeah, various different all sorts things. of Disney stuff. So that's that's the plan. Um, we might try a homewares one, um, you know, collectible ceramics, that sort of stuff, but we're not sure what demand would be for that. We're just um, experimenting, we want to give it a go, and yeah, we're um, not, not too sure. So, so Tuesday, so. eight o'clock, and then we think we're going to do another one Thursday, eight o'clock, yeah, as, as our kind of yeah. learn how the platform works, see what see what goes well what doesn't and learn from there see judge from that whether we're going to continue to do what not and experiment with it or I don't know at least we'll have an opinion yeah, then exactly <laughs> exactly so there you go so please use the link below you might as well get the tenor and spend it uh, and see what you think um <clears throat> Uh, C. Blaney's got a question. Is it definitely safe to have all of your details on whatnot? You know, bank details, etc. That's what's putting me off registering at all. Well, you have them on eBay, right? Um, they would have to adhere to certain regulations to keep that stuff secure, right? But if, if you're not comfortable, don't do it. But I would say yes, they wouldn't be able to do it if they weren't keeping your details secure. Um, and Stephen says, I signed up with my PayPal as a payment method. So there is another layer of security. There you go. Um, what's Cheryl saying? I'd be, I think I'd be good. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I think I'd be good at live selling, but I'd never get enough mm. stock. Does that say? I think you would be good. You've got the gift of the gab. 
Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to trying it. Of course, we've done um, live selling here. That's a whole different format. Whatnot is very, from what we've seen, it's very fast paced. Well, it can be as fast paced as you want. Lexis <laughs> were more. Says, um, I hope you got the bonus incentive like others towards the all important giveaways. We didn't. No, we don't, we don't have that. So um, don't expect you wonderful giveaways because <laughs> we don't. Yeah, there'll be no Gucci <laughs> handbags <laughs> flying around for free. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, hundred pound Amazon voucher. No, no. For a chocolate, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we haven't decided yet. We are going to try and work out how the giveaway thing, ha you know, how we incorporate that mm -hmm. and have some giveaways. I think. Now, do you know how that works? So you just click a button and you're I've, eligible. I know how it works in terms of I've been in a whatnot. Well, I've been in Shelley's and Lexis. Yeah. And I've entered. Well, that's what I'm talking about. How does that work? So. You just click a button and you're entered? Yeah, it's like a little swipey thing. Okay. You get. So if you're watching us live, you can click, yes, please enter me into that giveaway. And then if you are randomly picked, is that how it happens? No. Stephen you then... says, sorry, Stephen says, I don't think any UK sellers received incentives. I don't know, um, because Mary I... Theresa said that they were. I think some did. And I don't know if they're in tonight, so they might be able to confirm that. But... They're not they were not supposed to talk about it, but they said that they were, and some people maybe they stopped it early. Maybe. Um, but going back to the giveaways, so we're gonna try and work out how that how to implement that, and then you just select enter me for the giveaway. If you are the randomly selected person, you just pay the shipping and then you get free stuff. Plus, then if you paid the shipping, I think anything else you buy in the auction, you don't pay shipping on. So that's kind of a bonus. Is that kind of the incentive to, for the giveaways? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, we're, yeah. we're going to find out all uh, of Well, this. I was just reading Lindsay's comment here. Um, oh, no, um, some people got £250 gutted that you guys weren't offered anything. The giveaways no. are great. I find once I've won something and the postage is so cheap, it's too hard to resist. Yeah, I think that's the, the kind of what the giveaways are about isn't it so once you've won a giveaway you're like well i paid the shipping now i might as well bid on some other bits and bobs yeah so Lindsay says a lot where it did encourage lots to sign up designer handbags aren't free um cheryl said it's in a non-disclosure i'm not sure what that means the, did you get free money or were you supported with your giveaways they, they signed an NDA. Oh, I see. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to try. Yeah, it. the seller pays. The seller pays <clears throat> shipping for giveaways. Yeah, but then if you oh, we pay for shipping on giveaways. Okay. So okay. That makes sense. We so we're, we're see we don't know our way around this. It's going to be a baptism of fire, I think. Oh, it could be. This whole thing could be a car crash. So so join us on Tuesday to witness. Oh, it's Brom. Hello. If we manage to screw it up. Oh, yeah, John was saying if we want any hints and tips to he message says, him. All my giveaways are out of my own pocket. <laughs> yeah, but is postage out of your pocket as well? That's what I'm confused about. Yeah, I think for I think that makes sense for the giveaways. That they get that free completely. Oh, I thought the buyer paid. See, we well, don't know. I got confused because on Shell on Shelley's first. Um, what not she was saying oh well, now you've entered the giveaway you know the postage is free or whatever um surely not by just entry you'd have to win it maybe it's because she's got such small items that she could put them in all in the same envelope so basically they might as well you know take advantage of the fact that she's paid for postage and buy stuff we will find all of this yeah. out uh let's see if anyone's got the info uh you'd you'd pay the first lot i.e two pound 70 send the item but then that will mean the postage is then cheaper for any giveaway winners who wish to make an extra purchase okay that makes sense right you'd as in we yeah okay uh yes givies are free to the buyer Oh, we do have some Lego. We have some Jurassic Park Lego we're going to put in the toys one. Not give it away. 
we probably won't give that it's probably the most valuable thing that's going in a uh, little set that we've got uh, we've got some vintage stuff uh there's some cindy stuff there's some uh board games um yeah that will be the one that can be the first one on yeah tuesday. i think this is so just to con tuesday for all of that stuff answering lindsay i think it's because um that was shelly's first one so you know that's what confused me oh hello hello jack came back hello <laughs> can't wait to give this a try sounds like a brilliant idea was it was it jack that bought no that's not the same oh. jack <laughs> i get so confused with that, jacks <laughs> his name is not really jack no that, yes that's <laughs> right yes thank you for the yeah. super chat Appreciate i hope that you it. finally um got your purchase from us because there was a lot of um faffing around trying to find your address um AC Global reselling. Hello. I don't understand how some are making money. I saw one person on Instagram say they did 12 shows and only made a profit on one. Now, we were kind of discussing this earlier and saying that, you know, it's it would be, it'd be stupid to shoot ourselves in the foot. We'd, we'd, just, we'd start items at least yeah. for what, what we paid for them at least and yeah it's ridiculous otherwise and i know we'd be losing something because of fees etc but well it's um, a lot of work to to do the shows and then package all that stuff up to make no money i i, I fail to see the point in that so we're going to experiment with some low starts and maybe some higher starts on stuff that we know has some value it's all going to be an experiment but we want to experience it so we can actually have an opinion and talk about our opinion right after the fact. Yeah. Um, so Brom says, good when people who have bought stuff um, win a giveaway as, as the postage postage is much cheaper. Right. Interesting. Yeah. And Luby Lou says, I think the giveaways are an incentive for the watchers to stick with the show all the way through. Same as the buyer appreciation giveaways, which encourage a purchase to gain entry. Oh, oh I see. So there's two different types. Right. Perhaps we should get some. I, don't, I mean, you jokingly said oh, it might be a chocolate bar. We could find some cool stuff like that to mm. do as giveaways. We've yeah, been well, struggling a little. So she got a chocolate bar in her, her show. Right. Oh, OK. Interesting. Um, okay, bye Cheryl. Good night, Cheryl. Um, this coming Tuesday, 23rd of April, yes. Yes. That's going to be our first one. So if you want to watch a car crash, be there. We'll schedule it tomorrow. I'm, I've been working on the little, um, yeah, what do you call it? I don't know. Image thing to put on what? thumbnail. Thumbnail. The thing, this this is how we communicate. The whatchamacallit call it doodly. I've been working on it. The Ujima flip. Yeah. yeah. So our first ever whatnot is going to be Tuesday coming, twenty third of April, eight o'clock. Uh, so sign right. up, get yourselves ready with an account. If you're going to sign up, you may as well use our link. Get ten pounds credit to spend. Yeah. Right, no strings attached. If you Spend are it. already on whatnot, not needing to sign up, we are the hills are alive, or one word. The hills. You can alive. probably use that link anyway to get through to find us, but you won't be able to take the offer if you already have an account. I presume. Yeah. Yeah. Should be a link below. A giveaway at the start is good to get everyone there at the start. A winner's giveaway is an encouragement to buy, so you can enter. Okay. Right, we need to oh, right. think about that then. What we're going to give away. Yes. Jack came back, finally got his purchase. Hurrah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, uh, it's difficult to make money on whatnot is our event. Yes. Ross, is it? Yeah, good to see you. How do I find your eBay? Our eBay is linked below most of our videos here on YouTube. That I think there's a link below tonight. Um, we're very open about our eBay account. You can go and have a look. So this is our, um, thank you, uh, BCP. This is our um, whatnot, and we are the Hills of Alive. Yes, so that's the link you can use to uh, sign up if you haven't. If you, if you don't already have an account, you will get £10 to spend. I can't stress it enough. You might as well 
use it and grab some free stuff either from our sh first couple of shows or from anybody else's i believe you can use your credit wherever you like yeah you don't have to spend it all at once do you or do you i think we asked that question she said you don't have to spend it all at once it was a bit confusing it was a little bit confusing um uh porky says i find when watching that the only people doing well are the ones with a big social following yeah well when we talked about this with lex we, we touched on that didn't we that um it's going to help certainly i mean we we are able to chat to you lot and and give you a heads up that we're doing it and send people to our show so we have an advantage for sure whether we're going to sell the stuff for what we would sell it for on ebay you know are we going to be undercutting ourselves what we potentially make on ebay that's the big question here is it going to make sense for us um it's going to be interesting yeah and whether yeah, we've got I mean, the... that is that's a good point sorry Stephen. um you know when you've got a bulk lot and you've made your money back on the first few sales the rest of that stock is good what not fodder well we are actually you you're talking about getting another bulk lot. we we still have the contact where we the last couple of big lot job lots we had like the van load of stock that we bought when we first moved here i was talking to my contact and we may be able to get some stuff that will be really well suited to whatnot and buy in bulk and then experiment a bit with that interestingly i dipped into john luke uh into one of his shows and it looks like they've been buying shoes and clothes in bulk mm -hmm. as well as mixing up with individual one-offs yeah. um we could experiment with that and we're going to see if we can buy a bulk lot to sell um we have a, some dregs of stock from that very first haul but it's nothing special is it we no. could try some of that um yeah lindsay says chockies or sweets are what most tend to favor for giveaways or little samples of things tommy's trade says i use sweets as giveaways so teeth and lips mm. okay interesting the learning curve is a loss leader yeah well for us this is going to be an experiment uh it's going to be us getting to grips with how the platform works um and what sells well on what not pe what people want uh we've kind of cobbled together two shows worth of stuff as i was saying we are thinking about We'll see how these go, see what the response is, maybe do another couple of shows and then maybe invest in stuff specifically for whatnot. Mm. We don't know. Yeah, I was wondering what the appetite for a mug show would be. <laughs> yeah. Would you tune into a mug show? Because I, I tend to buy lots of mugs this one because I like them. Yeah, but, um, you can buy a mug wherever you go. You, they I just know, they're I, attracted I, I bought to a load today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brahma says, I do Mint Aero uh, Bingo eight um what <laughs> i do mint aero bingo eight arrows numbered one to eight winners pick a number and there's a 10 pound note on the back of one. Oh, wow that's clever yeah <laughs> well this is it once we get into it if we find it's right for us if we want to carry on we'll we'll develop our own ways of doing giveaways i'm sure um i should tune into one of yours john really um yeah no no we won't be giving jeff away <laughs> no right let's scooch down i think we've covered giveaways how um, much is the lego well there's our ebay store event for anyone who was asking there thank you bcp somebody's asking there how much is the lego the lego that's going into the whatnot auction doesn't have a price it will sell for the highest bid um it was at one point it was listed on eBay for 25 pounds, I think, was it that sort of money? <clears throat> uh, what's Marcus saying there? Oh, George, yeah, yeah. George is enjoying whatnot still, I believe. And again, going back to the social media Give following, obviously, George has built up a big following on YouTube and Insta, so he was able to benefit from that yeah um uh, Stephen, doing clothes isn't he yeah Stephen says personally apart from the logistics i don't think it will be that much different from your youtube auctions potentially not but hopefully it will widen the audience a little bit um you know i don't know 
I'm just keen to see how it works, the mechanics of it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit nervous about it, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. I think it's just because I don't know how it all works. Something new. <laughs> it's all going to be a bit awkward to start with, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Elaine says, if you get another big haul, would you only sell it on whatnot or would some come onto eBay? Mm, very good question. No idea. <laughs> it, we um, probably a bit of both, depending on what we pick up. There's some stock apparently going to be on offer soon, and, and I need to check email, see if we've heard back, that we think would be perfect. Uh, I won't say what it is in case we don't get it. I don't want to disappoint. But, yeah, I think that could work. Um, it depends. Um, it's kind of first come, first serve with our contact. So if we miss it, we miss it. Yeah. Uh, see, Benny says, I, I'd say mugs are very popular, but then I do have a problem with mugs. The ration in my house is approximately 60 mugs to one person. <laughs> we have a crate of just Christmas mugs. We do mugs. not. We do. We don't. I, I decluttered a load the other day. If you look in that cupboard, that's all that's left of the Christmas mugs. Really? Like the majority are Kath Kidston ones. Well, we have a Kath Kidston say, problem. Should I count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine, nine Christmas mugs now. We could do a Christmas mug show then. Not with those nine. With no, them. I was going to say, not my Kath Kidston's. <laughs> yeah. Um, so going back to the whatnot thing, for us mug it's... show Brill, says Maggie. For us it's going to be a learning curve, right? Experimenting with what stock what works, um, what people want, uh, we don't know, is, is the answer of, of long term, if we're going to stay on the platform, what we're going to sell if we do. So you will you will watch it evolve, hopefully, with us. Uh, Tina likes the idea of mugs and jugs. <laughs> We could we could do mugs and jugs. And when we're outsourcing, you can just fill your boots with mugs. And jugs. I nearly bought a very nice vintage Meekin mug today. Was it today? Why didn't you then? I don't know. It was only a pound. I don't know why I didn't. I think I just thought, I've got so many jugs. I walked away. I should have bought it. Um, what's the Lego set? Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a Jurassic Park one. Uh, you'll have to tune in and see. It's yeah. it's stashed away in a box somewhere. <laughs> uh, once Latosha says, I went into Brum's show to buy vinyl and I came away with three pairs of socks and a mint arrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, three pairs of socks? What's Brum doing selling socks? I'm confused now. <laughs> I don't think he was selling socks. Probably giving them away. What's that there? The, oh, the, sorry. That one. Okay. The luxury pickers have have had an article in the Metro States. They've made 20K in a month on whatnot. They call it the QVC for millennials or something or other. Wow. Is it okay. millennials or Gen Z? Well, it's probably millennials because um, Ellen's Gen I generation. can never remember what never I am. to hear of it. What, what are we, Gen X? <laughs> we are still, and she just, I don't know what, what that is. <laughs> we watched, we found on YouTube. Um, um, John Luke's in. A video. Oh. Hi, John. Um, yeah, we're talking about whatnot. I mean, you're a seasoned pro now. We're, we're new to this, and we're doing our first one on Tuesday, as you may have heard. Um, so, yeah, we, we found a video on YouTube. Uh, a, a kid who was, what was he, about 16? filmed his uh, house in America in 1990. It was a house tour with his brothers and sisters and the, no the oh, nostalgia yeah. in that video. It was yeah. so much fun. Um, yeah, Lainey says you can preset your auctions beforehand, I believe you can. Um, I don't know if we're going to be bothered to spend the time doing that. We might as well be listing on eBay if we're going to do that. I think it kind of just... The whole idea of whatnot for us is being able to, you know, sell things instantly and there isn't all the preamble. Yeah. Because, well, it, you know, you might as well be putting all your stuff on eBay and getting better profits. When, when we <laughs> dipped into John Luke's one the other night, it looked like they were going, showing stuff, and let's, let's, let's run this, I think was the term, and just clicking a button somewhere. And, yeah. and so that wasn't premeditated. So no. not like you're working off a list. You're just going... Here's a thing. 
start yeah. the auction right because in our training they showed us that you can preload stuff and you can have it on buy nows yeah um that seemed like and a then we thought no and we asked lex about it and she said that yeah she did that to start with and then or then just decided that it wasn't worth doing well i've seen lex when she's doing jewelry just going is anyone interested in this yeah. do you want me to sell do you want me to sell this thing well, thing um, you have to talk to laney and Stephen about in, in lex's shows because they're uh her best customers <laughs> oh the jewelry addicts yeah i know um oh hang there's on. no such thing as a kath kidston problem nick is that what you were going to highlight <laughs> what, what were you looking at i was just reading the chat oh, sorry right. <laughs> uh denise i've just signed up for whatnot do i need the app Thank you for the ten pounds. I think it's easier on the app, to be honest with you. Oh, I thought it's you had to do it on your phone on the app. No. If you know in the chat, let us know. I don't know. Oh no! Well, I when I've dipped into one, I think like, you can do it on the laptop or in, on a computer. I've only been watching on YouTube because people you like to stream on YouTube at the same time. Obviously, you can't interact and yeah. bid on YouTube, but that's how I was watching uh john luke's one the other night i think if you're selling it's um, i think yeah it's much easier and smoother to do it on your phone um but i think if you're buying you can do it on the laptop as well uh tommy trades i find it's harder to keep people's attention if your show is just one category of items having a little variety to mix it up and a chance to pace throughout seems to keep people interested I get what you're saying, but on whatnot, the way they set it out is that you have to schedule it in a category. Mm. So it's a little bit. Tricky. I suppose it's a bit of both there because I can see the benefit. For example, we've thought about doing a Disney one. And if you get people in who are into that as a niche um, and they buy a couple of bits, they're going to stick around to add to their purchase, right? Mm -hmm. And build up a, a bundle of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, with the toys and games one, we're, we're trying to mix that up with some really nice vintage bits, like we said, a little bit of Lego, some sealed stuff, some vintage. Yes, Try and keep some, it interesting. Some, games some well. stuff that's giftable, some stuff that's retro. Who knows, right? Like I keep saying, this is going to be a big experiment. See how it goes. Um, oh, what's the news? Um, well, it's not really news. We've got, we're doing something new. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're just going to try what not. We're just I mean, excited to try. I mean, you know, we, I said we could have a conversation about just generally trying something new. Oh, what's this? Tamara says, I bought a Maya strawberry dish with integral um, little matching jug. Ooh, so cute. I shall have to look after it for a while. <laughs> yes. Oh, you do yeah. a bit of this, don't you? Well, I do. And just to, you know, I do part with things because you put on your Instagram the, a picture of that mushroom, carved mushroom. Thing oh, that yeah. I picked up from a, I think a yard sale, I'm not sure. Um, a while back, it was when we were at our old house. And um, and I did look after it for a while and I very much enjoyed it. But I've since bought some newer knickknacks and things like that. And I've had a bit of a declutter. So I've moved things around. And now it's for sale. We, we still so, have a collection of mushrooms over there and a collection of mushrooms over there. Yeah. Well, some of which were gifted. I think I think still sent some of those. sent me quite a few. He sent me those and the ones that are over there. <laughs> and they're not going anywhere because I really like those. I don't know where I'm pointing. The spoilers. This is uh, what we're getting ready for what not done. <laughs> but, yeah, they're not going anywhere, Stephen, because I very much like those. Oh, hang on a minute. They were Nirvana socks. Oh, well, even better. Nirvana even socks. Better. I have some Depeche Mode socks that Lex gave me years ago as a birthday present. Do you remember? Yeah, I've got some Madonna ones. <laughs> yeah, that Lex sent. It wasn't a birthday. It was Christmas, I think. Maybe, because we both got them. Um... Oh, Rebecca says, don't know if I'll be able to watch on Tuesday, but good luck. Thank no you. worries. Uh, Gen X, yeah, 65 to 80. Uh, we're the tail end of that. <laughs> I'm neither 65 nor 80. <laughs> um. Oh, John Luke said, <coughs> Excuse me. If you need any help setting up your show, 
I was setting your show up, pop, pop us a message. There are a few quirks and workarounds. Okay, work. well, we'll yeah. be, we're going to, apparently you can do a, like a dry run kind of. You can do like a rehearsal. A rehearsal. Thing. So we're going to play around with that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll, if we get stuck, I will definitely ping you a message. So prepare for messages from an old fool who doesn't know what he's doing, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, it springs to mind when we were in Bristol um, and we were in McDonald's and Jack was watching you trying to use the screen to order your McDonald's and he said, is this what it's like watching old people? How <laughs> very dare you? It wasn't working. That was not me. That was... It was a fault with the system, right? It did, but it's not like we're not having that. It's not like we don't work with um, technology all day long. <sighs> Although quite often you're like, I, I am... can't make this work on TikTok. Could help me do this. Why won't it work? <laughs> technology hates me most of the time, doesn't it? Though it, it does. It picks a fight with me. Technology. It does. What was the most recent one this week? Oh, there was, oh, oh, there was a thing you, with YouTube. Yeah, it kept putting the sound out. Oh, I edited yeah. a whole video in iMovie and it, and then it moved all the sound around. So I was out of sync here, then I was out of sync there. And then I had to, I'd already uploaded it. And then I had to re-edit it, detach all of the sound, chop it about, re-uploaded it. And then it was still out in some places. How has it done that? I didn't do that. It did it itself. Yeah. It took me hours to fix it. And every time you did it, it would just, oh, it was some, yeah, you were getting quite cross. Yeah. Um, Ross says, yeah, you don't need to pre-list anything or whatnot. People just pick from a tray. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. Yeah. Yes. I think, you know, otherwise it, it's no point. <laughs> um, is that, I think I read that one before, didn't I? I just oh, signed yeah, up. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for the sign up. Yeah. And spend the money. You may as well. Right. I'll just say again, for people that have joined us, we're up to 368. If you are not already signed up to Whatnot, if you use the link we've been given, uh, you can get £10 credit uh, to spend either with us when we do our first shows next week, Tuesday and Thursday, eight o'clock. Or we think you can just spend it anywhere. Just join a different show and, and spend the money. You might as well get the tenner and spend it. Um, Charlotte there says you can preload, but it takes ages. I can show you how to set it up for a show in five minutes. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Uh, Lisa says I prefer the desktop. <laughs> Just laughing at Stephen going, shh. He <laughs> says, shh. Um, Lainey and I are not addicts, we're just supportive. <laughs> Like, I'm not addicted to vinyl, and this one doesn't have a mug problem. Don't have a mug problem at all. No. We have a cupboard around the corner that you've probably never seen, just full of mugs, like that, like it's a little trophy cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I show you? Shall I take you over there and show no. you? <laughs> mugs are like art, aren't they? Mugs are like art. They are. Are they? Yeah. It's taking a turn, this chat. Um... Right, where are we? You need to use the app. Going back to if you want to bid on whatnot, do you have to be on the app? I don't think you have to be. No? But I think that, well, Lisa just said that she prefers the laptop. Uh, Lisa said, you just need the app if you want to enter giveaways. Aha. Uh -huh. Really? Okay. Uh, you can view on the laptop, but need to be on the app to bid. Oh, okay. Because I thought. There's confusion in the house now. Yeah, I thought I saw there was a button to bid on the laptop. I'm Lex's favourite mod, but don't tell Stephen or Susan. Okay, shh, shh, it's fine. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> so you can have moderators in your live chat, like yeah. we do here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We might be calling upon some people. <laughs> yeah. Join us, Lani. You can be our favourite mod if you like. <laughs> Um, uh, Stephen says you can do it on a computer, but to enter giveaways, ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, mm. you need to do it through. Yeah. I need to get on the on the app because I've not joined the show, and uh, I've not got a free tenor and spent mine yet. And I've heard you can pick up some bargains on whatnot. And the the in thing at the moment though is people going on Vinted and buying stock. Mm. 
Um, yeah. I've seen some stuff on a couple of messenger groups I've been, people finding amazing bargains on Vinted. And I'm just, yeah. I don't have the time to browse all of that, but I need to have You're a too, look. You're too busy browsing Depeche Mode and well, Asia. Buy nine. Yeah. Um, Ross says, I wouldn't worry too much about categories. They don't really police it, so you can vary it. We had heard this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, host on the phone and start the auctions from the laptop keeps the fingers off the screen. Yeah, I think Lex was saying, when we chatted to Lex about this, she has her laptop there, mm -hmm. doesn't she, by the side, and then phone that's taking the visuals, and then she's doing the yeah. admin on yeah. the laptop. Yeah, I think that's how we, we, we're going to try it. Um, <clears throat> I have bought a few times on whatnot, but never got the £10. It kept telling me I could have it, but I never got it taken for my purchases. Oh, I would weird. chase them up on that if you can. Yeah. That's very weird. Um, have you ever sold CB radios? Uh, yes, a long time ago. I've also sold, um, I had some old police radios, do you remember, from the 60s and 70s? That were being given away at a yard sale once they went quite well but yeah sold some cb stuff right way way back before you we were doing youtube um i'd completely understand if anything i sent anybody so they decided to sell them your mushrooms are staying we've still got that lovely um jersey pottery yeah. stuff yeah. as well Oh, Tina got some Bieber mugs today. Ah. Our Bieber mugs have gone to live with Sue. Yes. <laughs> That's Ryan saying. I got one of Michael Jackson's old gloves. It's a very heavy welding glove, but it's nice. Okay. I, I don't think there's much truth in that. <laughs> Stevenson, I believe having two people to run a whatnot show is a huge advantage. <coughs> well, it would make sense if one of you is kind of presenting and the other one's doing yeah. the stuff on the laptop. Yeah. Um, the big advantage, I suppose, of whatnot is that you don't have to keep track of who's bought what and payments and all of that. When we've done our shows on here, you've seen this, and Stephen, you've helped us out, is keeping track of who's won what and mm -hmm then tracking down payments and addresses yeah i'm looking forward to hopefully it being a streamlined thing well yeah. i don't know if i'm going to be able to help you janet um i've tried to sign up for whatnot but i only have an old mobile so I can't scan to do it any suggestions hmm. borrow or borrow a phone or yeah buy a new one i, I can't see any other options you're going to need a smartphone to, to try it out, I guess. Yeah. Oh, Sandra's got a name of Bridgewater mug for £1.50. Bargain. You had that dog's one, didn't you? Yeah. And that sold in a flash. Yeah. Um, that was, what, a pound in a charity shop? It was. Went for 20 Yep. Yeah, that was a lovely find. Um. Jake doesn't like how this world is becoming more online and digital. It's been heading that way for the last 20 years. Um, yeah. AI is the next big thing. Let's not start a discussion about AI, but that's the only thing that's slightly concerning for me. Mm, yeah. I am a very pre-generation Z. What's that? Gen Z. What's Gen uh, Z? That's Ellen's generation. Ah, okay. So you're pre-Gen Z, so you're what, 90s? Very pre-Gen Z, so don't, don't Oh. Know. Um, pre-Gen Z is millennial, then it's us, Gen X, and then it's boomers. So. Oh, I get so confused. We're Gen X, that's all I try and remember. Yeah, like Billy Idol. Like Billy Idol. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you are. <laughs> I struggle with this. Um. Yeah, thanks, Bum Crack Picker. For those that have joined us recently, we're talking about whatnot. We are going to give this whole thing a go, right? Uh, Tuesday coming, 
as in a couple of days time, eight o'clock on whatnot, we're going to do our first stream, which is going to be toys and games, a mix of vintage, uh, some new stuff, uh, some new stuff, a little bit of Lego. See how it goes, right? And if you do use our link, uh, you will get £10 credit to use and spend. Um, is Nick saying Andrea married a mug? Were you a mug to marry me? <laughs> I'm not commenting on these questions. <laughs> um, okay, how are we doing for time? Oh, wow, that's flown past. Yeah, right. Lisa says, I have bid on the PC. Yeah. You don't need the app. I thought you could. I had seen the button on there when I was watching next. So going back to, was it Janet? You should be able to interact and bid through your PC so you can avoid having the app altogether. Is that what we're saying now? Try it on the PC, Janet. Maggie says, and why not? I look forward to seeing what mug Andrea will be using for her coffee or tea. <laughs> there you go. Uh, now. Well, I'm talking about the fees. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, this is an interesting one. Of course, it's not free to sell on whatnot, and they take their slice. Uh, just out of interest, uh, says Brum, I sold a £45 item and got £39.80, 13% fees. Yeah. If you were wondering. So oh, of course, Laney's, we're, we're going live at the same time as Laney. Do we need to rethink the live time? Uh, we've kind of said it now. Go we earlier. Could, we could go. I, we'll chat with Laney after. We're going to chat with Laney later anyway. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Sorry, Laney. Is it Banish Bin? Yes. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> it's so hard these days. We may have to, not to, we may have to go earlier than eight. Right. Yeah, we'll have a chat with Lainey later. Anyway, we'll schedule it and you'll see when we do. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Have I got it right? The sign up ten pounds has to be spent on whatnot. Yes, yeah, it's not a not no, a. Here, it's a whatnot credit. It's not here's a tenner. No, no, go away and spend it down the off license. It's uh, ten pounds credit to use on whatnot live shows, right? Better than nothing, though. You get some free stuff. Yeah, people confirming. Yeah, the money is to spend. It's credit to spend on shows. Um. Oh, hello, Teresa. <coughs> Excuse me. It's I'm just going to grab a drink. Teresa, since I've been able to watch you, I'm glad to be back. Glad to see you back. Right, sorry, I'm just <laughs> zooming. Oh, here we are. C. Blaney says that boomers are from 1955 to 1964. So if you fall into that, you're a boomer. If you're past that, you're Gen X, which is us. And if you're past 80, not the age, 1980, then you are millennial. What are you if you can never remember what you are? Old. <laughs> Dear. Yeah, so here's the link for Laney's Banish Bin, which um, we definitely won't be clashing with. <laughs> um, what are the chances? Oh, Mike said, hi, Mike. Hope you're doing well. What does it say there? When I moved into my flat 32 years ago, there wasn't such thing as the internet back then, and it was some years before I was able to afford to buy a computer. Yeah. I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. When I was still living at home, uh, even sort of late 90s. So I moved out of home in, what, 97, 98, when we moved in together. We still didn't have a home PC. We had a second-hand Windows 95 desktop that my dad had hoofed out the skip at the private school where he worked. Um, it wasn't on the internet, and none of us really knew how to use it. Uh, the first time I was on the internet was in 99 i think late 98 99 when we got our first when when we were sharing a house with some friends on dial up yeah first time i ever used the internet was at university 
Um, mm. So that was, I don't know, 94, 95 maybe, to be in the very beginning. And I was like, wow, what is this? This is amazing. And I used to sit and do my work, <laughs> writing work, um, waiting for a page to load up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember watching pictures come in line by line. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, when I was uh, doing my degree, we had a computer room. You had to book time. You had to book a time slot to go in and use their internet. And I think you could only have like hour sessions or something at max. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, because it was so and, popular. Everybody wanted to do it. And none of them. I lived in a student house with, a, with uh, three or four other lads. And none of us had a PC. None of us had a laptop. When we were doing our dissertations, we had to go to the computer room just to type the stuff yeah, out because yeah. none of us had a computer at home. It's it's hard to believe that. Yeah, I wrote everything out by hand and then had to go in and type it all out. Mm. Well, in fact, my dissertation, I got a friend of the family who was used to be a secretary and she had a, a, a nice computer at home and a printer. Not many people had printers back then. I'm talking 94, 95. And um, she typed it all out from my handwritten draft. Wow. These days we have a laptop each. Well, Ellen has a laptop. I was having this conversation with Ellen earlier. We are talking about how we do everything on our phones these days. Mm. And she was laughing about the fact that she accidentally got herself locked out of her flat the other day. She left her keys at home. And um, she had to call her flatmate to go and to come and rescue her. And she says, well, I know you need to do your shopping. So why don't you go and do your shopping? while I'm on on the way and then you don't have to just sit around and wait for me and Ellen said well I can't because I've only got two percent left on my phone and she said how have you got your bank card on you she went oh yeah it's in my bag <laughs> because her brain thinks you know I, I just use my phone to pay for everything so yeah she doesn't even use her bank card didn't even register with that oh yeah I can pay for my card <coughs> Well, here's the thing. We, I think Gen X is the last generation that genuinely remembers a time before PCs took over the world, right? I remember uh, being a kid in the 70s and 80s and computers just weren't a thing, right? I remember that time before computers and it was very different. It was a totally different world. Okay. So this is when, if you are born within these dates, so if you're born um, within 97 and 2012, you're a millennial, no, you're Gen Z. If you're 81 to 96, you're a millennial. Um, what's that? Um, uh, <coughs> don't know, can't work that out actually. What's that? 28 to 43? No, that can't be right. <laughs> I think that's come through <coughs> weirdly. Anyway, you get the drift. I'm overheating. Oh, yeah, blimey. Well, I've got thermal on under here. It was so cold today when we got up. We got up quite early, like Oh, hello. This is Sue. <laughs> this is um, Sue that sent us the amazing gift. Oh, maybe this has come through better. 97 to 2012, 81 to 96, 65 to 80. I was boomers. No. no, Gen X boomers is 55 to 64. Sue, so we... No, no, we, no, we... honestly, um, Lainey, we won't clash with you because we want to watch you as well. <laughs> well I just didn't engage our brains. Um, we'll, we'll chat with Lainey later. Um, yeah. Sue, I don't know if you were in earlier. We were sharing your, your wonderful gift. Um, Andrea has been so ecstatic with this. Um, yeah. We, we couldn't be happier. This, these are so cute, these little salt and peppers. Has Sue said that her, her gifts arrived? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Good. I showed you the photo. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, we are rapidly approaching the hour. We so uh, what we like to do, <coughs> if I could get rid of this tickly cough, what we like to do is um, end on words of wisdom. So if you have any words of wisdom, you can relate them to whatnot, trying new things, mm -hmm. being an old technophobe, whatever you like. Uh, we'll read out some of your words of wisdom and then uh, we'll pick our favourite. 
We don't have a guest to pick the favourite today. We don't. We, we can pick them ourselves. Yeah. We do have a guest lined up for next week. Should we tease who it is? No, we'll leave it as a mystery. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this has evolved into something we do. I, I don't know what we. How would we ever oh. end these now without words of wisdom? Secret Carpa was in there first. Uh, the pessimist complains about the wind. The optimist expects it to change. The leader adjusts the sails. That's that's a strong contender. That I like that a lot. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Don't put all your Lego in one basket, says Brum. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> WTF, what not the flip? <laughs> um, we understand, do you understand that? Or am I might because I'm terrible. I hope you don't treat your, your... No, I don't understand this one, Ryan. <laughs> Might have to go again. I don't think that makes sense. Oh, I've got cramp in my hand. Oh, no. Oh, ow. You've been getting that a lot lately. Yep. Oh, what's Mark saying? Um, a jacket done up is worth two undone. <laughs> okay. Right. Joe is uh, happy she's a, a boomer. Was that? I missed it. It's gone. What does it say? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm a gem boomer. No, right. <laughs> um, Jessica says, people who buy second-hand furniture are really clever. They don't have to put flat pack together or take out their own rubbish. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Ian says, um, if in doubt, switch it off and on again. <laughs> yes. It works, though. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> we have a, bl a, a, a blother-in-law. <laughs> a brother-in-law who's in technology and he uses that fix all the time i really like this one peter if you have knowledge let others light their candles in it isn't that oh, oh i love that that's my that favorite is, so far that is brilliant pete where'd yeah. you nick that from <laughs> <laughs> um Gina yeah, we, says everything has beauty but not everyone sees it oh these are good oh my oh, word good. i think pete's is a contender and oh yeah. wow pete's is my favorite so far um Elaine says, happiness is not about getting all that you want, but enjoying all that you have. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. We've, we've always loved that quote, haven't we? Mm. Yeah. Going back to Pete's, I mean, that's kind of our ethos about yeah. it's, it's why we, we, we started this channel. It's why we continue just to talk about what we do and how we do it, share what little knowledge we do have. Mm. And it's repaid back to us all the time. Not that we expect or want anything back, but sharing knowledge comes back to you. It really, sharing really does. Sharing anything comes back to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's true. Yeah, and it's not why we do it, like you just said, but it, it just is the way it is. So don't ever be afraid to share. Don't don't have a yeah, have this um attitude of lack you know a lot of people have an attitude of lack and they hold everything in and it's like don't share the secrets oh no no mm. don't share and it's silly because <laughs> you get so much more when you do share and you are when you give open it's... and you're yeah yeah so yeah i absolutely true. love it um love did you do oh you just read a lines didn't you yeah the grass is greener where you water it yes these are good tonight um oh it makes sense in reference to the commodore oh right oh okay sorry okay. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah <laughs> if in doubt ask andrea is that <laughs> Well, it's, it's kind of that way. You you come and you're like, I don't understand why it's happening. If we don't call them, good work. Yeah, yeah. With tech issues, Andrea's my go-to. If Ellen's here, it's Ellen. Yes. Uh, I, also, you're the go-to when I lose my keys, when I lose my phone, yeah. when I lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, you were like this morning, you said... I don't have, you were going to the shop and you went, I don't have my wallet. I don't know, I don't know where my wallet is. 
it's next to the kettle. Oh. Next to the kettle? Of course it was next to the kettle. Yeah. It's where I left it. <laughs> All the time. It's getting worse. The other day, our neighbour came around for a chat, Fred, and it was like... Uh, do you know your uh, door keys have been in the door all night or whatever it was? And like all night. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. With, with the car key on it. We left them there for safekeeping, don't you know? Flipping out. <laughs> uh, did we say that? It make make e hay while while the sun shines. E hay, nice. Um, when if, it, what's that? If in doubt, you need to read the map better. Fair enough. Yeah, if you get if you find yourself in doubt, did did you do you not get that? What like doubt like it's a place? Oh, <laughs> that's how I read it anyway. <laughs> it's been a long day. I've been oh, up. Peter's on it today. Good people are good because they've come. They've come to wisdom through failure. Yeah. Yes, you, I love the candle one too. You, so. you learn a lesson well by messing something up um, is kind of my take on that one. I have failed in many things, but you you take that and you you learn, right? That's the whole point in having a go. It's why, I, yeah, it's kind of coming back to having a go at whatnot, right? We're going to have a go, probably screw it up and then change things and go again. Yes. Um, I'll, I won't read that out, but I'll let you read it yourselves. <laughs> and then nothing ventured, nothing gained. But there's logic in it. There's logic in it. You know, I just didn't want to say the words. Right. Are we? Are we um, there? Are we, are we at the end of there. these yet? Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I like Ian's. Oh dear, Chris. Um, hang on. Do I, I'm reading Porky first. Don't waste your time with explanations. People only hear what they want to hear. It's very oh, true. It's very yes. true. Yep. Kindness costs nothing, but it is worth everything. Can I add to Porky's? 100%. Sir. Can I add to Porky's? Not everyone deserves an explanation. You don't have to. And this rings so true for me. Mm. I feel this need to explain myself all the time. And you don't, not everyone deserves that. You know, you're, you you do things for reasons, right? Um, I feel very, like I have to keep explaining what I'm doing and my reason, you know, not everyone deserves that. Yeah. Um, only a fool doesn't ask. It does say only a food doesn't ask. I prefer only, only, only food doesn't <laughs> ask. Um, Sharon says the saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. Wow, oh. that's that's deep. Yes. Mm. Laney says Andrea is not just your wife, but your PA. She deserves some heads and more mugs. <laughs> <laughs> Have we beaten Pete's yet? Is Pete still the front runner? <laughs> yeah, for me. Uh, Libby Lou says, we are young, we are free, we got teeth. That are we big. are young, we are free. <laughs> the ironic thing about that is now, if you look at the band, they're no longer very young. And it just oh. shows you that everything is fleeting. I bought that single when it came out. Now, that was, what, uh, 95? Yeah. It wasn't their debut, but it was their first big hit. And we, I rewatched that fairly recently on YouTube, and they look like children. They do. The little cute and little we faces. We probably look like children at the same time. And yeah. And now. Well, I was what twenty one yeah. when that came out. Supergrass. Yeah. Amazing band. Really are good. Yeah. It just. Shows okay. Everything is fleeting. You just have to enjoy the time. Never trust a man that does not it. walk with a limp. What's that all about? Strange. I haven't got a limp. Do I need a limp? <laughs> What's going on? You never know if you don't try one exactly, and that's what we're. That's yes. why we're going to try whatnot. It may be that we'll try whatnot for a couple of shows and go. That's not our bag, but you, we might love it and keep going. Watch this space. We'll see you on Tuesday. Maybe not eight o'clock. Might be changing up. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, let's pick one then. I think we're going to go with Pete because we both went, ooh, that's good. What yeah. was it? I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it was about candles. Oh, it's about, yes. If you have knowledge, 
let others light their candles in it. There you go. Yeah, that is our ethos summed up. Thank you, Pete. Be open and share. Um, yeah. yeah. So it, if we it all comes back your, to you. Any of your wisdom, but it's ten past nine, so we need to let you get on with your So evening. just to um, reiterate, in case people have just joined us, uh, we're going to give this whole uh, whatnot thing a go. Starting on Tuesday, we will confirm the time. The, the plan was as well, we might do a brief YouTube live just to get everyone, just so all the notifications go out and then we'll we'll say, right, we're going to go live on whatnot at whatever time. So um, it might be a little bit earlier or a little bit later than the eight now. We're not sure. We'll have a chat with Laney and see what we think. It won't, it won't be later. Um, and we'll see you there. There'll be another one on Thursday. Currently is the plan. Yes, probably yeah. at eight o'clock. <laughs> So use the link below. You might as well grab your free £10 credit to spend on whatnot. You can spend it with us if you wish, get some free stuff or spend it on someone else's show. It doesn't really matter. Grab the money while it's there. Are we done? Oh, thank you, BCP. I popped my YouTube channel in there as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there going to be some content on there this week? Yes. Um, I know I've been a bit lax since we went on holiday. It's <clears> just been all over the place. But... Um, yeah, I filmed this weekend, so there will be a yard sale vlog coming up. And there will be a video on this channel up tomorrow. We have had uh, the privilege of chatting to a very helpful chap at eBay recently, who's been um, telling us all the ins and outs of uh, how to improve your business on eBay, answering some questions, putting a few myths to bed, that sort of stuff, talking about the algorithm. Um, I'm going to be sharing some of what we've been told about how eBay actually works in a series of little videos. First one's out tomorrow. Um, yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. Well, thank you for joining us. We'll see you on Whatnot on Tuesday. <laughs> At some point. Yeah. There we go. Sorry, just re-highlighting the uh, comment there. Right. The words of wisdom. Thanks for joining us. Uh, stroke the like button lovingly on the way out, please, uh, if you enjoyed <laughs> you don't this. I like it when you say that. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next week for more of the same. We have a guest. Um, yeah, you can try and guess who it is if you like. <laughs> Not right now because we're going. <laughs> we'll keep it a secret. All right. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Ta-ra.